<coughs> unmistakable sound of the Alvin Keach banjo ukulele. Um, the model I've got here is the Model C Alvin Keach banjo ukulele and on the um, serial number on the back here, I don't know whether you can see that, it's got the Model C, which it is. On the front here you've got the badge. Below the badge it's got the word Banju Lely. Um, Alvin Keach patented that uh, name and no one else is allowed to use it. And below that it has a serial number. And from the serial number I can see that the date this was made was 1924. Um, they made three models, the Model A, Model B and Model C. The, the main difference between the Model C and say the other models is they've got slightly more upmarket um, tuners, can you see that? The Model A sometimes had pegs and the B, although it had friction tuners, weren't half as nice as these. So it's got these really nice tuners. Um, also, it's got a lot more um, mother of pearl inlay markers. Can you see that? That the Model B, I think, has only got. Let me see. Got a Model B somewhere. Model B's got three. This has got quite loads of them. Look at that. And um, also very interesting on the Model C. Can you see this? The chrome ring here. The the the, the tone ring here. But it's, it's got like a groove got a groove in there which makes um, the tensioners fit much more easier and also uh, the model um, A has only six tensioners this has eight which is all academic cool oh and the other thing on the model C it has like an arched back can you see that whereas the model B has a straight back but um, God knows how old although this is made in 1924 um, I've had this for quite a few years I must admit I don't know how many years because um, I've got quite a collection of keeches and bits of keeches and this one had been hanging around and was a bit tatty and, and needed a little bit of work. Anyway, so I, I've just finished doing this one. I've tried to, tried to keep, as I always do, try to keep it as original as possible. So you've, you've got the original varnish and the original, but I have had to touch it up in some places. But I think that's much nicer than taking all the varnish off and making it look new. But as I say, if you want an immaculate mint condition uh, banjo, you, then this is not for you. But if you want one that's been well loved, been around for years, um, and, and is set up really nicely. Now I've set it up with a very low action. I don't know whether you can see that. That's because I've all, most keeches have the angle of the neck um, put on wrong. If you look at my video, um, choosing a banjo ukulele part two. I explain this. Anyway, I, I've got a low action on here, but whoever buys this, I'll also give them a, another bridge of a different action so you can vary the action. The other thing I've done to this one, we, I've, I've put a new tail, a Gibson type tailpiece. Can you see that? It's nice, isn't it? It, it means that, that when you strum, this doesn't the string knot ends don't rub on your arm. So, so it's, it's quite nice to play. Um, I fitted my own make of strings on here. Uh, the, the strings I supply are much softer than the Aquilas, so they're not as loud, but, but they have a nice tone and they're easy, they don't hurt your fingers when you hit them. But if you want, want a lot of volume, I, might, I suggest you get Aquilas. But, but these, this is a nice sound. Uh, Nice ringy sound. Now, the, the Keech sound is produced because underneath here, you can see it on my pictures on eBay, but underneath here there's a metal drum. This presses against the metal drum against here. So it's called an internal drum and the sound you get is, is very um, vintage. It's almost like the sound you get out of a one at record player. I, I can always tell a sound of a Keech. You could blindfold me and, and I'll tell you what the Keech is. Um, to say, I've got my own make of strings. They come in this, and on the packet is me. <laughs> That's me playing my first keech, my dad's keech. Um, I must have been about three there. That's how long I've been associated with them, um, keeches. Um, don't think I've changed. Now let's see what else is there. As I say, there. It, it, it's structurally in, in sort of nice condition and I've sort of 
made made it play nicely. But obviously, cosmetically, there's there's few sca scratches and and scuffs. Where where I've adjusted the neck angle, I've put filler in there a little bit. So I know some of you out there with your instruments are really fussy about looks, but um, this has got loads of character. I love this. Anyway, I'm I'm putting it on eBay. And um, oh, by the way, the tuning. I've tuned it E, A, no, sorry, A, E, C, G, A, E, C, G. Now, the original Keech's years ago would have been tuned higher than this, the, the old-fashioned tuning, which I'll do for you. That would be A. sharp B that's B F sharp D and uh, what did I say this one A now all this is it's exactly the same tuning as the other as a standard tuning but it's higher just slightly higher and this is because in um, the old well many years ago before when they had the banjo use, a lot of entertainers didn't have amplification, so this sound carried. And th this sounds more like the Keech when it's tuned up like that. Look. on eBay. If you've got any questions you can contact me at jasperhappy at hotmail.com. Good luck. Thank you.